Alzheimer's disease not only affects the person diagnosed, it alters the lives of entire families as well. Mine was one of them. Inspired by his own family situation, one high schooler invented a breakthrough device that has the potential to help everyone touched by this devastating disease. 16-year-old Kenneth Shinazuka has always had a unique relationship with his grandfather. He and I were very close. He was somebody with whom I had a very special bond. Um, and he, always, he was always a very loving, caring uh, person. But when Kenneth was four, his grandfather started getting forgetful. And the time he vanished during a stroll in the park is still seared in Kenneth's mind. He suddenly got lost and was really one of the scariest moments I've ever experienced in my life. Alzheimer's had set in, his grandfather no longer able to recognize him. Slowly, he lost his ability to walk, talk, and eat. Over the years, his condition progressed, and he started wandering more and more. And it was really about two years ago um, that his wandering out of bed at night became much more frequent. So this highly motivated 11th grade honor student set out to find a solution and came up with his very own invention. Once the patient gets out of the bed and steps onto the floor, pressure sensor detects an increase in pressure and then sends an alert to the caregiver's smartphone. Kenneth has been testing his device in nursing homes, and so far, it has a 100% success rate. I will never forget the moment um, when Kenneth's device caught my father's wandering for the first time, how deeply moved the entire family was. It's definitely um, given my family a lot of peace of mind. He recently won the Scientific American Science in Action Award at the Google Science Fair for his invention. Please welcome Kenneth Shinazuka. Kenneth, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having it's me. It's an amazing device. Um, ha having a family member with Alzheimer's, several, I, I so appreciate what you have done. I know your thank grandfather you. is no longer well enough to, to understand what you've accomplished. Right. What do you think he would make of this? Well, my grandfather's had Alzheimer's disease for over 11 years now, and he's no longer able to recognize me or any of the other members of my family. But if he, were lucid, if he were more lucid, I hope that he would be proud of the work that I'm doing. I'm sure he'd be very proud of the work that you're Thank doing, you. without a doubt. It is, it's amazing to me because it's such a simple looking device, but there's so much science that went into it. Right. Uh, so when I was creating my device, I really faced three main challenges. The first was creating a thin, flexible, uh, wearable sensor that could actively detect changes in pressure and then immediately and reliably detect whenever the patient got off the bed. And the second challenge I faced was creating a wireless circuit that could communicate with the caregiver's smartphone and consume very little power in doing that. And the third challenge that I faced was creating a smartphone app that would essentially alert the caregiver once the patient stepped out of the bed. And you were able to accomplish all of those things? Yes. How long did it take you? It, I've been working on the device since fall 2012, and I completed my second prototype in January of this year. And when will it be available to It'll the general public? It'll be available public? in early 2015. 2015. Can you show us how it works? Absolutely, sure. So once the patient is lying down on the bed, the caregiver... So you have the special sock. Yes, yeah. yes. The caregiver attaches the sensor onto the bottom of the sock. And then the caregiver turns on the device and then connects it to his or her smartphone. Okay. Now I'll be the patient, you can be the caregiver. Okay. <laughs> and once I step onto the floor... Oh, it's in it. An alert will be sent out. It says off the bed. Yes. For the alert. Yeah, that's amazing. And this will stay beeping until... Yes, until the caregiver presses reset on the smartphone. Wow, your, your aunt takes care of your grandfather. How has this changed her life? It's definitely uh, brought a lot of peace of mind to my family. My aunt has felt a lot less fatigued as a result of the device. Uh, my device has caught 100% of the known cases of my grandfather's wandering. So over 800 of oh all the gosh. cases of wandering that he's experienced in the past 11 months that I've been caught. testing the device. That is tremendous peace of mind for her. I know you're testing the device in nursing homes in California. What have the tests revealed about how effective it is? It's been going very well. It's detected the wandering of various patients. Mm -hmm. But I realized that there was a need to increase the signal transmission distance, especially in larger facilities where there's a greater distance between the caregiver and the patient. So I'm currently working on a solution that incorporates Wi-Fi and a cloud server that increases the transmission distance. You're just a genius. <laughs> you really are. Well, I mean, I know that you go to school in New York. Are you like a rock star for, for your friends? At, at school, I'm just another ordinary kid. And I'm very grateful for all the support that my, my friends, my dean, 
my uh, principal have given me. So it's been a great ride so far. And do you have plans for the future? I mean, you've accomplished so much so far. Do you look into the future and say, this is what I want to do? Through my research, I've really been inspired to look deeper into the mysteries of the brain and find cures for Alzheimer's disease. It's a disease that not only affects the individual patient, but also the entire family. So I really want to look into finding a cure for such a huge problem. You know, it's interesting with patients with Alzheimer's, you really don't know what's getting through to exactly. them. So yes. your, your grandfather might really understand this somewhere and be so. so proud of you. You are really a fantastic Thank you guy. So much. And I really believe that if anybody can do it, it'll be you. Someone with that kind of passion. Kenneth, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. For more information on Kenneth's device, go to MeredithVieraShow.com. This is the kind of kid we should be celebrating. We'll